Hey, what's up? Matt Wyatt here. I'm with the team in Manhattan, Kansas, and previewing now for you the Kansas State Wildcats. Nine plays from their game last week against South Dakota that tell you a little bit about their style on offense and defense and actually how they were able to come back and win that game. Let's jump into it right now. Okay, here's Kansas State's first third down of the ball game. So right at the beginning there, they go three receivers left, let you watch the play. Three receiver route, but also swing the back out of there. So it's a simply, uh, it's essentially an empty route and get it knocked down and have to come back and punt it away. If you go back and you watch kind of how it happened, I think they may have a bust on the route. You see uh, H-back tight end here, another tight end on the hash, receiver on the numbers. And what you get is this choice route against zone. It's just a 4-3 zone. But instead of the third man in sitting over the ball in the middle of the field, he widens and winds up in basically the same spot uh, as the other receiver. So it's two guys in one place. You can see the quarterback's going to look there first. He's reading four-man rush, three linebackers drop, shell coverage, it's soft zone. And so when he sees that corner sit on his single route, he's coming back here to the tight end, going to look for him in the middle. When he doesn't find him there, because they're basically in the same spot, he's got his route in the wrong place, just kicks it back out of here because he knows he's got to get rid of the football because the pocket is collapsing on him quickly. When he does that, they get it blown up, and they got a punt. Here's South Dakota on a first down play, trying to get a deep shot. They're going to switch them up top. It's really a three-receiver side, but a two-man route. They get a guy open and just overthrow it in the middle. I'm going to show you how they got there. First thing, look at the formation and the way that Kansas State lines up. So four down, and they're spread out underneath in their linebackers and kind of shell cover. So it's soft zone look, and that's what it winds up being. But really what they're doing is just bracketing the single receiver because you have an H back here. This makes it three receivers to the field. And up top, they just went match up on that man-to-man uh, -man there and picked them up in man-to-man. -man. So it's well designed. They have a good pocket, and they get what they want, and that is one-on-one -on -one out here where they're going to switch and get this man up top. The route up top turned the corner around. Now he's got to play catch up, and it's just a matter of can the quarterback put it on him. He had a good clean pocket. He just overthrew it. Right here they hit the back out of the backfield. They got a two receiver route. Watch it first. Going to run them off up top, read against the zone, play it against the linebacker, complete it for a first down. And this is something I think you could see against Mississippi State, and that is Kansas State figuring out a way to get linebackers out there in coverage against a running back or a slot guy. So here's how they do it. It's two by two, and you get a straight up 4-3, Safety down, he's a flat defender, so it's cover three in the defensive secondary. It's really a base look for South Dakota on this play. And they're going to run it off, run it off vertical. He's reading it against zone, and when he does, right away in his face, he sees on first down, open against the linebacker. He's picking up first guy in the slot and chooses to run with him, doesn't turn him loose. So that means linebacker's got to get over here and cover. And they complete it, you know, and then he's able to turn it up, make a first down. I think you'll see that some. So they use a fullback. They use a tight end. It's most, mostly pro style, but they're in the shotgun primarily on offense. And defensively, uh, biggest problem in the early, the first three quarters of the game is they didn't get a lot of pressure with their defensive front against South Dakota. Okay, so it's third and one out here in the field. Kansas State went quarterback power, not afraid to run it with Thompson, their starting quarterback. Follows the block, finds a hole, makes a safety miss. Who had to run around the uh, official, makes it a big play. A couple of things to look at there. First of all, they're going to pull that lineman from backside and then lead him with the back, and they've got a full back up in front also. And the other thing is, a quarterback is looking here. They try to jump in the hole, and then he cuts it back. So the hole actually moves over, but he finds it. The other thing is, safety kind of had to run around the official, and a quarterback uses that nicely. So he's off on a big run. He's a starting quarterback, not necessarily known as a runner, but they choose to call that on third and one because they're not afraid for him to run the ball. Again, go back and look. He's uh, got a lead back. So Lyman pulls in the hole here, and it looks like it's going to go here, but instead this is just running the space and cuts it back here and uh, finds a big play. So uh, short yardage situation, they will run the quarterback. 
Okay, heck of a play design here on the goal line of South Dakota, and they scored with it to take the lead in the game. Speed motion, they had an overloaded offensive line, a little play action, but it's man to man. QB keeps for a TD. So here's how they did it. You got to like the design. First of all, uh, they think they're going to get man coverage, and they do, and that's what it's designed to work against. The other thing is, you got ball here with center. And that's not a tight end. you got three offensive linemen. So at the beginning of the formation, they overloaded everything to the wide side of the field. But then when they motion back across, the man-to-man -man coverage is going to bring a defender with it, so he runs out of the play. Then once they fake, now you've got man-to-man -man routes right here. And if a guy gets free because of the way they're blocking this, he can raise up and throw. The flow, though, running a guy out of there, he just sees a path to the end zone, outruns into the Here's a play for Delton, the backup quarterback who's in the ball game, going to escape for a first down. They only rush four, drop zone on first and ten. He sees an opening, uses his legs. Looks like a good runner and uh, sniffs out first down. Just real quick, something that you see, look at how Kansas State lined it up there on first down. Uh, got a tight end here into the boundary by himself and then three receiver side of the wide side of the field. Okay, so 11 personnel, all three are to the wide side and back back there in the backfield. And the way South Dakota defended it, they're in 4-3, and they're going to zone this. Corner walks down. They're going to drop back in that zone. That safety's going to stay up top over the tight end who stays in the block. So with everybody dropping, it's a smart move because you've got way more protection than you do rush, and so he's just going to take off and use his legs. Later in the game on the goal line, South Dakota scored by kind of crossing them up in their man-to-man -man coverage. They stack the receivers, one gets lost, and the quarterback finds him in the back of the end zone. So if you watch it up there, uh, you can see it is man-to-man. -man. There's nobody back here. This is man across in terms of their coverage. And when they stack those receivers, then it means you know man-to-man -man here, man-to-man -man here, or vice versa. But you can see they both kind of get lost in that coverage. They see throw, but they're going to turn him loose, and both defenders jump on the underneath, and it leaves him open in the back of the end zone. Quarterback finds him as he's getting hit, makes a nice throw. And that's the other thing. It is later in the game when Kansas State began to get a little more pressure. Most of the game, this kid for South Dakota is playing in a clean pocket. Here, though, he makes a throw as he gets hit by the defensive tackle. Two-score game in the fourth quarter. Kansas State returning a punt. They returned one for a touchdown earlier in the game. It got called back for penalty. Here they get an opportunity in the fourth quarter. Uh, kid reverses the field, turns it into a big score. And he's a heck of a returner. Starting uh, receiver, where's number seven? Zuber is his name. Second one he took to the house. And this is the touchdown that put him ahead for good uh, with seven and a half minutes left in the fourth quarter. You got a receiver off the screen on three receiver side. Can't see him here. Going to work that back line. This is a really a heck of a throw. So when he came into the picture late, you can kind of see uh, a little bit of what they're doing, and that is trying to get a guy lost. They bring a crosser and then an intermediate. You're thinking possibly uh, first down there on the goal line situation. But the kid that's off screen works himself to the back of the end zone. They drop coverage in front of it. Only rush four, and they're twisting both of them, but they get good protection. And that's part of the reason he can stand in there comfortably and wait. But he's got to put this over a couple of heads into a spot where only his guy can get it. And again, what you can see, there's a lot of traffic right here in front of that throw. That's an impressive throw from Thompson because I can tell you on field level, you're looking through all these arms and all these bodies. And to put it in that spot where only your guy can get it, that is really a clutch throw when your team had to have it. So there you go. There's a little bit of a preview of the uh, Wildcats of Kansas State kickoff to, uh, on Saturday, either today or tomorrow, depending on when I post at 11 a.m. Hope you enjoyed that. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Radio Wyatt, and I will see you next time.